Peter from Callouts here. I recently created a series of artistic watercolor presentation backgrounds for Callouts. And as usual, I wanted to offer our members high quality to work with. So these were rendered out as 100% JPEG quality. When I was rendering out my showcase video for the new assets, I came across a problem. Some of the backgrounds had a lot of artifacts and some were just a black screen, nothing at all showing. So if you've done some work in Camtasia, you may have come across the same problem and like me not being able to put your finger on exactly what caused it or how to solve it. There is a recommended solution online and if what I'm suggesting here won't work for you, you may want to try that instead. The problem wasn't visible during editing, but appeared first after rendering out the entire video. And it wasn't just the largest files that was affected, but some that actually seemed more colorful was more affected by this. I had seen this before, often with color rich videos, so my guess is that th this is some resource issue combined with how Camtasia handles files. I have a quite powerful computer and a graphics card that is a few years old, but it shouldn't be a problem. But I was still very surprised to see this problem for a 1 megabyte JPEG file. I dug into it online and found various recommendations. The main recommendation was to shut off hardware acceleration and render in software only mode in Camtasia. And if you run into problems with your renders, that's usually a good place to start. Unfortunately, that didn't solve it for me. So I ran a lot of tests and found one file that caused more problems than others, although I saw it in, in several different files. So I've loaded up that file here and I will play it in Camtasia and show you. Now because I post most videos to services like YouTube, I wanted to upload with the highest possible quality because YouTube will re-render the files at a lower quality. Normally I use the quality 100% setting for rendering, but I discovered this was a mistake, especially for this file, because I, the original file was about 12,500 kilobits per second. And when I rendered it out with Camtasia, the file ended up being 10 times the quality of the original file, and a 15 megabyte file turned into a 152 megabyte file. The solution that I found that has worked both for graphics and video avoiding the pixelation is instead of using maximum quality, set it to maximum uh, bitrate. And when rendering out this particular file, Camtasia also ends up with an end result of 28,000 kilobits per second. So in this case, the quality is nothing to worry about. Okay, so I hope you find this helpful. And when you need assets for Camtasia for your video work, please do check out Callouts. We have many, many Camtasia templates. Thank you for watching and see you soon.